The client list for Linda Bloom's consulting company, Analytical Solutions, is a testament to the respect she has gained for her expertise in geochemistry. She's developed a set of standards that are used globally for uh, assurance and checking. I think absolutely a tremendously well-respected geochemist. Since the advent of National Instrument 43101, she's a recognized expert in quality assurance, quality control for sampling and assay. She's kind of the go-to person for us. The consulting business, what I love to do is interpret geochemical data. So that's when someone takes soil samples or stream sediment samples, and now you get you know, 30, 60 elements, and there are very few people who really know what they want to do with all that data. It's, it's quite overwhelming, and that's, that's really fun for me, because uh, that combines my geology and chemistry backgrounds. Linda's success, in part, is due to her no-nonsense approach to both business and volunteering. I find that Linda is very uh, straightforward, honest, and she sort of uh, doesn't have any tolerance for, say, phoniness or BS, that type of thing. She'll like if I say something that I'm not quite sure of, and she'll, say, she'll call me on it right away. Most of us really, really value that characteristic of, of Linda because she is so roll up her sleeves and dive in and help out. And I've got some ideas and I'm here to work with you. But I also think that together we can make things better and stronger and more effective. It was Linda's interest in math and science that had her obtain an honors bachelor's degree at Carleton University and a master's from Queen's University. It was a chance visit that helped her land her first job. I dropped into the Getty Mines office. The first question that I said is, do you know Totero in? And she says, no, he's out. I said, oh, and she says, are you here for the job? And I went, yes. She said, that's amazing. We just put the ad in the Globe and Mail this morning. I said, yes, and I was interviewed uh, that morning by a fellow who was the chief geologist called John Steers. But John Steers remained a, a really important uh, mentor for me. Um, he was uh, literally 20 years older. Uh, to the day, we had the same birthday. That first job with Getty Mines involved uranium exploration in Saskatchewan. After working a few jobs, which included managing a staff of 50 at an assay lab, Linda decided to start her consulting company. In addition to her busy professional life, Linda is well known for generously spending time as a volunteer and mentor. I think she's also put in a lot more time than most people that I know would on a, on a volunteer basis. She's very committed to educating and mentoring people in the business. And also she has a great desire in uh, seeing that the right things get done. She's willing to pitch in and help in so many different places because of her breadth of knowledge and, and wide interests. You can absolutely count on her to give all of her energy, all of her effort to bring success to a project. Linda has volunteered for a number of industry organizations. Linda spent three terms as a PDAC board member, during which time she made many presentations at technical sessions, chaired the communications and public affairs committees, and implemented the Student Industry Mineral Exploration Workshop the program that brings together the top geoscientist students from across the country to really enhance and build on their learning. Linda was a driving force in the implementation of that program. I have found that volunteering is a brilliant way to uh, network and to build relationships, but you also have to follow through and finish what you said you were going to do. Volunteering is important, uh, but it has to be sincere and it has to be something that you're passionate about um, and that you really want to see succeed. 